What's good everybody? It's your boy JD. Welcome back to the channel. In this episode of our NBA 2K24 Exact Player Series, we are bringing Zion Williamson to you. Now, when when healthy, obviously Zion is one of the most exciting players in the NBA. He's had a couple of those games this year, you know, makes you open your eyes a little bit and remember what type of a player he is when healthy. So let's head over to the builder. We're going to do our best to take some of the actual Zion stats and create our build in NBA 2K24. Let's go. All right, so here we are over in Zion Williamson's NBA 2K24 player card. We're going to check out his stats, and then we're going to head over to the builder, and we're going to see if we can replicate uh, some type of a Zion Williamson build to our best of ability. Uh, obviously, you guys know when Zion's healthy, he's one of the most exciting players in the NBA. And looking at some of these stats, you can see why. I mean, when you look at the finishing, that 98 driving layup, 95 standing dunk, at six foot six, that's pretty wild. You know, you see a lot of those times where Zion will get a board down low, and he'll just go straight up with that thing and yam it down. Unfortunately, players under six ten in two K can't get like big man contact dunks. But it would be kind of cool, I guess, for a player to be able to get like some type of standing contact dunk, even if they were under that, um, you know, under that six ten threshold of, of some sort, like a uh, I don't know what you would call it, just a regular standing contact dunk or something like that, not be called big man contact dunks. Obviously, you know, the 97 driving dunk, Zion can put on a show, like I said, when healthy. He, dude's do, doing 360 windmills and all sorts of crazy stuff like that. 89 close shot. Um, shooting, you know, not the greatest. Zion's not the greatest shooter. 70 on the mid-range, 70 on the three ball. Um, you know, so we'll be able to work with that for sure. 64 on the free throw. And then moving down here, you see the post control's 87. That's pretty strong, obviously. Zion being a big, strong guy like he is, being able to work down in the post and then finish around the rim. And then when you get down here to the playmaking, um, you know, not too shabby, I guess. 65 pass accuracy, 78 ball handle, 74 speed with ball. Definitely think that's something that we're going to be able to work with over in the builder and, and replicate that. And then the, the defense is is good not great i guess if you want to say uh especially for for this kind of in between build being six foot six you know at the power forward position you might expect the defense to be you know a little bit better on, on a player um you know this one's gonna be a tough one i think to replicate it and be able to take out and, and play with uh in 2k but we'll see what we can do interior defense 59 perimeter 55 43 steel you know only a 47 block so you know it doesn't even have like chase down on bronze or anything and then over here on the rebounding you can see 62 offensive rebound and 56 on the defensive rebound um, so his offensive rebound is actually a little bit higher than his defensive rebound and it only equates out to like bronze rebound chasers so again I think those are numbers that we're gonna be able to use in the builder uh, to kind of help make a Zion type build moving down here to his physicals 85 speed 85 acceleration 92 strength I mean Zion is a bully for sure uh, you know, you'd want to have that, that bulldozer of some sorts on, on a build like that to be able to uh, drive to the hoop and, and bump those, you know, weaker players off of you. So we're definitely going to be able to do that. 99 vertical, which is absolutely crazy. I don't think we're going to be able to get quite that high on a Zion build in the builder, but we'll definitely see what we can do. And then last but not least, 83 stamina. We'll probably see what we can do with that. So let's head over to the builder and we will see what we can do to replicate this Zion Williamson build. Let's go. All right, so here we are over in the builder. Like I said, uh, Zion doesn't have a template build, so we're gonna have to build this one from scratch. You guys saw the stats. We're gonna do the best we can to replicate, uh, you know, his type of a build in here, some type of a, in, you know, undersized but inside athletic type of a player. Uh, we're gonna go left-handed. Jersey number is not really a part, you know, doesn't really matter, but I always try to match up the jersey number, especially for these build videos. Uh, we're gonna continue. Now, Zion is actually listed, if you saw the 2K card there, um, at the power forward slash center position, 6'6", 284. Uh, we're going to go up to the power forward position. I don't we, I don't think we can make a 6'6", center, nor I don't think would we want to. Um, but, you know, you could definitely make a 6'6", power forward of this sort. Uh, you know, do with, what, do with it what you want, but, uh, you know, let, let's see what we can do here. Power forward, 6'6". Six and for this build, um, just to try to make it a little bit quicker, if you go 284, I think you're going to be just too slow. So we're going to go 251 on the uh, weight, and then we're going to take the wingspan up to 71. So power forward, 6'6", 251, and the wingspan of 71. Now let's start putting this build together. 
like I say in all these videos, I like to start with the um, physicals because they're tied into so many of the different badges and different things like that. So as you start upgrading different attributes within the player, you know, you'll start to see them tied in with the physicals. So starting with the speed and the acceleration, he had an 85 and an 85 for speed and acceleration. Um, for the speed on this one, just because we're going to want to be, you know, fairly quick being a 6'6 power forward, we're going to want to be quicker than our other defenders and everything. We're actually going to go 85 on the speed and we're going to go 80. So we're going to max out 80 here on our acceleration. So we're going to be able to still move around a little bit, you know, try to play a little bit of defense, be, be quick with the ball, all that good stuff. Now for the strength, remember he had a 92 strength. So the reason we went 251 uh, is that's the minimum weight that we could go to still have this 92 strength because we're definitely want, going to want to get, as you can see, that Hall of, or the, the gold bulldozer there with the 96 strength so we can bully our opponents as we're trying to drive to the hoop and finish and, and get some of them bump animations and, and really knock them out of the way. It's also going to get you gold brick wall and gold immovable, immovable enforcer as well. So those are definitely going to help out uh, on a build like this. Vertical, if you remember, he had that crazy 99 vertical. Um, we're going to go up to 82 on this one because we're going to be able to want to get some of the contact dunk animations and stuff with this. So 82 is kind of that threshold for that. And then last but not least, the stamina, he had an 83. We're going to go 85. Um, you're probably not going to be like a primary ball handler or anything with this type of build. So having that 85 isn't necessarily going to hurt you. Um, so that's what we're going to do on this. Again, I always say these are the templates. Feel free to mix and match, move the stats around how you want. But the goal for these builds is to try to replicate a player's stats from NBA 2K24, whether it's his player card or starting with a template and then and make it as true to that player as possible it's not necessarily about creating a you know the, the best build or comp type build so keep that in mind you know with this video and all of these other ones in this series so let's get back to this zion build here we're going to start on the defensive side of things because that's probably the weakest area that he has if you remember he had a uh, 62 and 56 on his uh, offensive and defensive rebound we're going to take the offensive rebound up to 60. That's going to give us the bronze rebound chaser. And then we're going to bump the defensive rebound up to 50. So we kind of keep that same comparison with the offensive rebound being higher than the defensive rebound. Uh, moving down to the block. Remember, he had a 47. We are going to take that up to 68. Being 6'6", six, six, you know, you're definitely going to want to at least be able to get some type of chase down animations with this type of a build. So that's going to give us bronze chase down artists. So you're going to be able to unlock the chase down animations and everything. And then having that 82 vertical, you're definitely going to be able to get up and swat some shots out of the air. So that's what we're going to do there. He had a 43 steal. We're going to put just a little bit of steal on this. Um, unfortunately, we're not going to get up to the 60 threshold to get like bronze interceptor, but we're going to put 45 on there just to try to kind of match, um, you know, what Zion had. And then again, up here on the perimeter, he had a 55, if you remember. We're going to go 59 on this one. And then on the interior, uh, we're going to match. He had a 59, so we're going to go to 59 here as well. So again, not, not too spectacular on the defensive side of things. Um, you know, this isn't going to be a, a lockdown build by any means, but that's definitely what, what we're working with here. Um, we're going to move upwards just because I think the finishing is going to be the strongest. We'll save that for last. So... With the uh, playmaking, he had a 70 pass accuracy. On this one, we're going to go 72. And the ball handle, he had a 78. Actually, we're going to go 65. That's my bad on that. So 65 on the pass accuracy. We're going to go 76 on the ball handle. And then we're going to go 75 with the speed with ball, which will help you get that Magic Johnson dribble style. Um, you know, get silver hyper drive. You're gonna get the bronze blow by for now. We're gonna do a couple things there. Um, you know, you can get the bronze speed booster. You're gonna get some of these bronze dribbling badges again, nothing too crazy. You're gonna get the gold physical handles because of the strength that you have on this build. Um, silver ankle breaker. You know, you see only bronze unpluckable for now, but we're gonna adjust that with our post control once we get up to the finishing. So as we work our way up with the free throw, he had a 64. So we're going to match that here. Uh, three ball and his mid range were 70 and 70. So with this three ball, we're actually going to match that. 70 is going to be enough to hit if you're open for sure. You know, if you actually want to make a build like this, 
um, you know, if you're in the corner or, you know, kind of hugging the line around the top, you definitely be able to knock down a, a three point shot with a 70 rating. We've seen it from plenty of people already on this game. And for the mid range, instead of stopping here at 70, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to 72. That's going to get you MIDI Magician on silver. Um, that's also going to get you open looks on silver as well. So again, um, you know, if you're shooting in that mid range, 72 is going to be more than enough. The three ball, you know, if you're spotting up or whatever, having that open looks, if you're shooting when you're open again, um, you're going to be able to definitely knock down some shots with this, even though the shooting is not, you know, super high. So that's kind of what we're working with there. Last but not least, let's go up to the finishing because I think that's where this build obviously is going to shine. On the close shot, again, I always say with these NBA players, they're crazy highs. They're going to be in the 80s, 90s on a lot of these. For this particular one, we're going to go 68 which is going to give us Fearless Finisher and Masher. See, it's going to unlock those badges here. On the Driving Layup, we're going to take it up to an 84. That's going to unlock a lot of nice um, layup uh, animations, uh, different signature style animations that you're going to get for doing your layups there. As you can see, now some of these badges are kind of coming to life. Um, driving Dunk, we're going to take it up to a 90. That's going to unlock some contact dunks for us. It's also going to give us the gold precision dunker. Um, you know, you can see some of the other badges here. Silver poster riser, which should be higher for a Zion type build. But again, trying to mix and match these stats to stay as true as possible. This 90 is what we're going to be working with here. You should probably have at least a 94. So if you want to finesse the um, the attributes a little bit if you're actually going to make a build like this, you know, I definitely recommend doing that. I would probably recommend moving a few things maybe around on the, the defensive side of things too. Maybe, maybe you make it more of a pure inside. I don't know. You make it a, um, you know, a more of a, a build like that and you take down some of the three ball. Completely up to you how you want to do that. Um, but again, 90 driving dunk. The standing dunk, again, like I mentioned in the intro, when we we're looking at the player card, you don't get big man contact dunks because you're under six foot ten. But because this is such a big part of what Zion does, um, we're going to move this up to 83. Again, to try to stay as true to form to a Zion type of a build as possible. So when you're getting the ball down low, you're definitely going to be able to go up quick and dunk the ball in a hurry. Um, you see a lot of like five out guards in like some of the pro-ams and stuff like that. I know like Joe does. Uh, his, his guards always have a nice high standing dunk. So when he gets stuck underneath the hoop, he can definitely go up real quick and still get a nice clean standing dunk on that. It's also going to give us, uh, as you can see here, fast twitch on silver, and you're going to get rise up on silver too. So again, when you're under the hoop, especially if you're getting a rebound or you're, you're on a cut and you catch it low and you don't get it in stride or whatever, boom, you're going to get up there and be able to finish. And then last but not least, he had an 83 post control. We're going to round ours out with a solid 85 post control. That's going to get us the silver unpluckable that we're looking for. And it's also going to give us some of these other badges too. You see the gold back down Punisher, you know, 92 strength with some post moves, some nice dunking ability. Um, you're going to get the silver dream shake, the gold drop stepper. That's a big part of Zion's game too. He gets the ball in that, that mid range area and can do the big drop step and then, you know, finish with a dunk or, you know, with a little, some type of a, a layup or, or something around the hoop like that. You're going to get silver post fade phenom, you know, so again with the 72 mid range, um, you know, you're going to be able to do a little bit of, again in the post, do some of them shimmies and post fades and different things like that. You're going to get the post spin technician on gold. And then again, you're going to get the post playmaker on bronze. So if you are getting like an offensive rebound and you're tossing it out to an opponent or to one of your teammates to shoot, you know, it's going to give them a little bit of boost there. So that's kind of a rundown of, you know, my best version of what a Zion build might look like based on his NBA 2K24 stats. Um, you know, let me know what you guys think down in the, the comments. What, what, you know, does this replicate Zion pretty good based on what we can do with the builder? Let me know down below for sure. Um, let's go finish the build out and see what we get. And as you can see, the very first comparison we get is going to be Zion Williamson. We also get shades of Aaron Gordon and Julius Randle as well. Randle's probably got a little better three ball, a little better shooting than a couple of those other guys. But we definitely got the shades of Zion, which is what we were aiming for. And the build name is an interior threat. So... That's all I got for you for this video. I appreciate you for sticking around. I hope you guys are loving this series. I'm having fun with it, trying to replicate some of these NBA player builds. Definitely finding some very unique type of builds in there here so far. So, um, you know, drop a like if you want to see more of these. Subscribe if you're new. Definitely go check out some of the other builds that we've done. Check out some of the face creations that we've done for these builds. And that's all I got for you. I'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.